Howdy folks, Andy Fireblade Muzzer here and we're on Elite Dangerous and we've just took delivery of the Python Mark II so we're going to have a fly around that in a bit but first of all I just want to say a few things um, it looks good, the Python, it looks cool I've just gone for the standard one uh, I mean, let, let's let's look at what's happening today. It's update 18.04 today. Uh, there's been a few things happened. One of them is four ships have become available to purchase for arcs. Arcs require real money. So you buy your arcs with real money, and then you use the arcs on the FDev store to buy the ships that then appear in the game. Uh, bizarrely, I find it strange that you use real money to purchase money. You, you buy <laughs> Let me rephrase that. You use real money to purchase fake money to buy on a store on the internet. Why don't you just use real money? It, it, uh, uh. Anyway, it's always bugged me. The, the, the whole ARX thing has always bugged me. I liked it far better when it was just real money. Anyway, uh, so we've got various updates in 18.04, various things, so features of note, added the Python Mark II and added pre-built ships, Python Mark II Stellar, Python Mark II Standard, Exploration, Jump Start, Diamondback Explorer, uh, AX Combat Jump Start Alliance Chieftain and Laser Mining Jump Start Type 6. So, five ships in total. Uh, yeah, there's, there's various other things. Achilles Aerospace completes additional research on Super Cruise Overcharge and the various things that come with that. Uh, Super Cruise Overcharge balance, bugs and adjustments, and some art has changed. Uh, they have changed. They have changed the intro. <coughs> you remember the Odyssey intro? Two people on a hilltop overlooking whatever and it was yep oh, that's changed yeah for some reason i get no audio on it uh, i have I've, I've had no audio since the uh, odyssey it just goes it makes a boom as if it's starting and then just stops so audio is still an issue for me on the intro anyway it's a minor bug not really interested it doesn't prevent me playing the game so let's let's get to the nitty gritty shall we so here we have the ships that have been released today. Python Mark II Stellar, 33,000 credits. Double this. I've already bought this 16,000 and something, I can't remember what it was. 25,000 for the Type 6. 25,500 for the Diamondback Explorer. And 25,500 for the Alliance Chief. And I am not interested in any of these pre-built ships whatsoever because I've got access to all engineers, I've got most of the mats required and I also have a stack of pre-engineered, well, already engineered modules. So I'm not really bothered about any of these. This one is quite interesting but it wouldn't last long against any of my engineered builds at all anyway we're not getting into the nitty gritty of them uh, not at all I'm sure there's a comparison of the builds somewhere but I cannot for the life of me find it ah here we go <clears throat> I knew it was somewhere so it doesn't have in here the pre-built ships but this is just a look at what the two pythons uh, give you. So we have, I'll tell you what, I'll do better than that. So we've got the Mark 1 and we'll have a side-by-side -side comparison. There we go, side-by-side -side comparison, that's better. <coughs> so, fighter bears, no. Multi-crew seats, both have one. Both medium landing pads, top speed 234 versus 261, 
boost speed 306 versus 352 maneuverability 2 of 10 4 out of 10 i remember when this was far more than that this was probably the most overpowered ship in the game at one point until it got nerfed fsd range 7.38 light years compared to 11.26 light years unleading 8.61 light years compared to 11.64 light years Shields 294, Shields 316, Armour 468, Armour um, 504, Mass 350 ton, Mass 450 ton, Cargo Capacity 82, compared to 96, Height 18 metres, Height 17 and a half, Length 87.8, 67.5, and Width 58.1. 88.3 so that's that's a basic comparison <coughs> but but yeah I I'm a bit dubious about what is going on with this whole buying ships for arcs etc and My reason is, where's it going to end? I'm on the fence. I'm currently on the fence. I get that FDev need to make some revenue to keep this game going. I totally get that. Servers don't come cheap, etc. But where is the game going? But the first thing I want to get off my chest is huge. For a fair few people. Lifetime pass purchases what are they getting 120 pound almost 10 years ago lifetime pass was 120 pound to purchase it was available twice uh one was as the game launched just before and around about as it launched and the other one was just before horizons it became available again <coughs> and with the promise of lifetime pass, they're getting all the future expansions, etc. I nearly purchased it before before Horizons. I was going to buy it, and something said no. And the reason I said no was because there was no roadmap onto what was going to happen, what was coming. You know what to expect for your 120 120 pound, almost 10 years ago was obviously worth a hell of a lot more than it is now and 120 pound was you know for somebody on a trash wage like i was at the time a lot of money so i i decided on the strength that there was very little information on what i was getting for that 120 pound i wouldn't purchase it and i didn't and as it happens as far as i'm aware the lifetime pass purchases have only had two expansions that has been Horizons and its beta and Odyssey and its beta. Beyond doesn't count because everybody got Beyond. Everybody got it. So, you know, they've only had two expansions. Now, FDEV are ex expecting Lifetime Pass users to purchase this ship for Ax. Sorry, but they should be given this ship. They should be given every ship. They shouldn't be expected to spend arcs. On cosmetics, maybe, because they're, you know. But the pre-built ships, maybe. But for something like this, a new ship, first one in God knows how long, you expect lifetime pass users to, to buy it? No. Give them some at FDEV. You need to give your lifetime pass purchases something because as it stands... You have absolutely had their lives. Someone in FDEV is laughing at them. Someone is absolutely laughing at them. And it's wrong. It's wrong what you've done. So, man up FDEV, give them something. Give the Lifetime Pass users something. Simple. Anyway, <clears throat> next thing. I'm on the fence with the ARCs thing by pre-built ships for arcs, buy new ships for arcs. I get that money's got to somewhere, come from somewhere to keep the game going. But it also concerns me that 
they've gone down this route selling ships I know another game that does that but we won't announce it it's been in pre-alpha for god knows how long and you, you know but uh, oh no we, we're not going to announce that game we're not going to see it but <coughs> here's the thing here is the thing if this takes off where is it going to end if people all lump in loads of arcs on these pre-release ships or the pre-built ships then where is it going to end Every ship that comes out is obviously going to be uh, only available to purchase for ARCs. And what will happen with any future expansions? They're not really motivated to bring any further expansions out if they're making enough money to keep the game going. So I'm on the fence. Absolutely on the fence. Hopefully, I mean, I'm not counting... Um, the power player 2.0 i'm not counting that who's to say we're not going to be able to who's to say we're not going to have to pay for that though it hasn't been mentioned that it's free well let's look at the other thing as well they've increased the price of all the cosmetics some of them by over 250 percent where is the justification in that ax isn't real currency you use real money to buy fake money. It, it's they've absolutely nobody was bothered about you know they could see what most of the people I've spoken to could see where FDev were coming from in selling pre-built ships and early access ships, blah blah blah, to make some money for the game. Nobody was against that, but then the greed kicked in and most of the people I know aren't happy about the price increases on the cosmetics. It's bad. I think it's disgraceful, personally, and ill. Time will tell. I, personally, won't buy a single cosmetic ever again on the current prices. I'll wait for sales and, and the like. But currently, on the current prices... I will never buy a cosmetic ever again. So, you do one okay thing that people aren't generally against for the most part. Even though we're going into unknown territory and where's it going to end. And then you up the prices of your cosmetics by massive amounts in some cases. And rightly so, people aren't happy about that. I don't know what you were thinking, FDev. I don't know what you were thinking. Stop thinking of your shareholders and think of your players for once. How about that? How about that? Right, I've got that off my chest. I'm happy, let's crack on. <sighs> Dear me, so let's crack on. Let's get back to the uh, thing in question, this ship. So, <clears throat> uh, I only purchased this because I already had 19,000 and summer arcs, which I'd made from attacking the titans we've gone through three titans i, w I made a fair bit of mo fair few arcs attacking the titans uh i can't remember how much i had but but i've probably made about a thousand arcs attacking the titans uh the other thing i don't like is if they still have this do if they still have this 400 arcs limit on doing in-game stuff you know, if if they've increased the prices of everything, then really they need to increase that limit. Uh, you know, let's quadruple it. Stop stop taking it at being all one-sided, FDev. You know, if, if they can still only earn up to 400 credits, up to 400 arcs, sorry, uh, via playing, doing exploration and various other things in game, if I can only earn 400 arcs per week, then... You need to change that due to the fact you've increased all your ARX prices. Now I swear, that is the last of it. Let's, uh, let's get in the ship. Uh, yeah, let's have a look about.
Okay. Okay, let's, uh, let's go back to this. Okay. I mean, I like the look of it. Let's uh, take it on its maiden voyage. They have just turned the headphones down. One thing I would have liked, I would have liked the seats to be changed and not be side by side like they were in the original Python. I'd have liked to have been one at the front and one behind it. because he was, we were boosting. I'll let it off. Let's uh, land on a planet. Let's fly to a planet and land. Um, where should we go to? Shall we go here? Mailer works. There you go. That's where we'll go. Seems for a stock ship, it seems uh, quite nippy. See how it angles on the planet side. But yeah, I mean, you know, it's a stock ship. What do you expect from a stock ship? It's not going to set the world alight. In fact, most stock ships are trash. It's not many are any good uh, when they're stuck. And so I'll be aerating this, and I don't know what to do it up as. Uh, I don't know what to do it as a combat ship. My other Python is currently uh, more as a hauler. I've used my Python for everything. My original Python. I've used it for combat. I've used it for exploration. I've used it for running um, passengers. Used it for cargo. Used it for exploration. The only thing I haven't used it for is AX combat. But I've done everything in it. 
and currently it's set out as a basically a, a, a cargo ship uh, a very well defended cargo ship got plenty of uh, armor stuff on it. it can it can look after itself in a battle and carry 256 tons I think so you know it's doing all right I also feel that FDEV are doing, pushing the boat out to get new players in, and that's great, get new players in, but you're also going to have to do some content as well, FDEV, because any new player coming into this game, no matter how many shortcuts you give them, they're still going to get bored if there's nothing to do. So you've, you've taken away the grind for them, and you've been doing that for a long time, but you're still going to need to give them something to do. So. I'm certainly hoping there's more expansions on the cards because if not then wow this this you won't keep your new players for long no matter how many ships you bring out uh, also FDev don't forget don't forget the people that were here pre horizons days don't forget them don't be like your internet service providers that only give you your, your, your new customers the best deals don't be like them look after your old players as well as your new especially those that are stuck with the game and are still on it I'm not on about the ones that especially those content creators that went into uh, defeat this mode and spat the dummies out because they had potatoes to run it Odyssey on and stuff I'm not on about them you know they don't play the game regular anymore so give them nothing but reward your loyal player base that have been here pre horizons days without a doubt with something like the Aspect Explorer. That's sort of what it reminds me of. Okay. Let's, uh, let's have a walk around it, shall we? big doesn't it okay I'm gonna be able to jump on it <laughs> but it does look quite large Do that. <laughs> I forgot what me <laughs> forgot what me bindings are. Okay. You think for a new ship the paintwork would be better, wouldn't you? <laughs> if, I, if you bought a car with paintwork like that, you'd be taking it straight back, wouldn't you? So one thing that's always bugged me: you buy a new ship and they always seem second-hand. Always marks on them.
Okay. Do not step. Yeah, well, I'm a rebel. I'm gonna. Yeah, see, no, it happened to me. It'd be good if you. If something did happen, if you stepped on them. Like, I don't know, you burnt yourself or something, you damaged something, you've got to get it repaired. <laughs> don't give you warning signs not to do something because people are going to do it. on the hard points if uh, like the anaconda you sank into them cockpit Take off and have a ply, a fly, not ply, a fly, planet side. seem very good for stock thrusters. And seems plenty fast enough for a stock ship as well. as well so you know that wasn't a bad thing to do the other thing I want to test is I rebuy because apparently this ship has zero rebuy because you've bought it so let's put that to the test shall we let's go for uh, No ship, couldn't handle it, crashed it. All in the name of science. So is this a zero rebuy? Uh, continue. 100 credits. Legal costs, bounties and fines. Why have I got a bounty? Yes, so zero, zero. Because apparently I've got some bounty. I didn't see anything come up with their uh, fines or anything. But yeah, it says there they have, so we'll we'll pay that and yeah, so yeah, it does have a zero rebuy. There you go. All in the name of science. We discovered that the zero rebuy works. Right, so after the debacle of ending up in a uh, detention centre, I decided to uh fly back to Shinrata and uh, yeah let's look at the, uh, the outfitting on the Python 
So, hard points. There's just the two, but empty large. Two empty large, three empty large, four empty large. That's amazing. Class three large, four of. And um, we've got two pulse lasers. Nothing in utility mounts. Core internal. Now I like that this comes with a mix of C and E's. 1C alloy. 6E power plant, 6E thrusters, 5C frame shift drive, super cruise overcharge. Nice. I'll show you that working soon. Uh, super cruise, uh, life support, power distributor, sensors, fuel tank. Quite a large fuel tank. Now, super cruise assist, uh, sorry, super cruise overcharge was. Uh, quite thirsty on the go-go juice and also caused a lot of heat issues uh, so um, apparently some things have been fixed on the super cruise overcharged we will see uh, 60 shield generator cargo rack empty empty another cargo rack super cruise assist and advanced planetary approach sweet super cruise assist never used it so that will be getting binned straight away but we've got a couple of empty things here uh, so all in all not too bad a mix of C's and E's which uh, for a stock ship isn't too bad but the one thing I notice is the thrusters are phenomenal on this absolutely brilliant it gets you can boost right up full speed right up to the mail slot and just throttle back and still manoeuvre the ship really well. But let's let's put um, the super cruise overcharge to the test, shall we? Let's have some fun with that. right there because fuel will be an issue so there we go we're 2711 light seconds away <coughs> excuse me so we're now going to hit super cruise overcharge there we go a bit of heat building up you sort of lose a bit of control you can't how quick is that went past it straight away. That is, uh, <laughs> that is good going that. That is, that's phenomenal. I, I really like that. And I'm just going to do it again. I'm going to give the, uh, I'm just going to watch, we're just watching the heat here. I mean, look at the fuel going down. Absolute plummeting. Yeah, the, the, the heat, it's going up, it's definitely going up, but it's not flying up how it was. Still got some relative control. Let's, 
uh, back to Jameson. Wow, how far away we are from Jameson. <laughs> 73,000 light settings, well, 70,000 light settings, so we'll... Nevertheless, over 70,000 light seconds in seconds. Brilliant. I like that. And that from a stock ship. That is really good. Now, I don't know what to turn this into. I don't know to turn it into combat build. I think it's cut out for combat. By its, its manoeuvrability is pretty great and I definitely think it's cut out for combat over many other things so I think I may make a combat build with it I'm going to check it in there a few compromised nav beacons see how it goes what do, what do people suggest what have we seen I've seen combat builds for it I've seen I've sort of seen an exploration build for it. Passenger cabins? I don't know, I wonder what it's capable of as a cargo ship. I wonder how much it'd take. Mining ship? What do people think? What should I turn into it? What should, what should I turn it into? Combat build is... I've got a lot of combat ships though. I've got a fair few exploration ships. I've got a few I've got a few of everything to be honest with you. I've been playing the game with it. For over 7,000 hours I've, I've got nearly everything I want. So I don't know. Don't know what to do. Yeah, I wonder how long it'll take to do hunting orbital. I might just lightweight it, shot massive fuel tank on, and see how long how, how long I can do the how quick I can do the hunting orbital run. even at full speed and when you shut the throttle off warning you are not permitted within this area this is a restricted docking. zone then again I should have realized I hadn't got permission granted because it didn't tell me and landing permission denied I'm sure I didn't I, I got docking permission but here you are. <laughs> Thank you. 
really well. This would make a phenomenal combat ship. I might try an AX uh, Titan build with it. I think as well. Docking complete. Ranker dispatched. Greetings, Commander. Now I have purchased it. Can I buy more out the shipyard? I might buy a few and do them in various different builds. There it is. Yes, 59 million credits. Well. Yes, so I can. Not like I don't have enough money. Could easily buy four. I might do that. Well, I could buy as many as I want, really. But, uh, yeah, I might make various different builds with that. Watch this space. So, oh. <laughs> man, I can't believe that. I didn't realise I hadn't got docking, uh, docking permissions there. Yeah, oh. all fun, all fun. So, Thanks for watching, folks. Let me know your thoughts of what I should build with this uh, Python and of the Arx thing and where I've ever going. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, oh, I like that ship. I think that is definitely worth the sixteen, just over sixteen thousand Arx that I paid for it. That ship is phenomenal as a stock ship. Uh, I can. It, it's only going to get better. It's only going to get better. That for me is well worth the axe. So, yeah. Not to, I don't know about the other one for 33,000 axe. I think all the pre-built ships, I'm never going to buy one because they're to someone else's build. And, and I mean, when I look at the AX build one, I think it's woeful, woefully in, inadequate. Uh, but, hey -oh. There you go. Right. Thanks for watching, folks. Andy Fireblade Mother signing out, and we'll uh, catch you in the next video. Tally bye.